नमस्कार 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 वेदांत कर्नाटका स्टूडेंट्स हाउ वॉज योर मैथ्स पेपर डू लेट मी नो क्विकली इन द चैट्स बिकॉज नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर योर फिजिक्स पी यू एग्जामिनेशन एंड आवर टारगेट इज नथिंग लेस देन सेवेंटी आउट ऑफ सेवेंटी इन द लास्ट फ्यू डेज एंड ट्रस्ट मी वी विल मेक full efforts sincerely so that we can secure this even if you are getting very laddu score now is the time to buckle up don't lose your motivation or your interest because your maths or any other examination went bad because whatever happened happened what is about to happen that is in your hands because then again after the physics exam you will be like oh i could have done this sir told this sir did this i could have easily secured better percentages and remember your pu scores are also going to determine your ranks which will decide which college you will get so obviously do not do not lose focus and let's make a strategy for scoring full marks in your second pu so my name is captain shreyas i am the physics master teacher and i have been training and guiding kids for more than 13 years i am here in your last few days just so that you raise the bar you set higher expectations and work towards it i am going to make you achieve that so if you believe in this make sure you are smashing that like button and also subscribe to the vedantu karnataka channel thank you so much guys now see guys your physics examination depending on when you are watching this video all right you will have either two days three days four days who knows i hope you are not watching it on the last day is on 7th uh, yes march and uh, of course after that you are going to have your chemistry and english so chemistry is the major paper and maybe english and some of you might have taken biology okay so we are somewhere in the middle of this that means the momentum should be very very strong see i'll give you some you know six steps through which we are going to make this strategy we are going to understand analyze the syllabus from that we'll know which is high weightage where derivations come from from where these type of questions come from etc then we are going to focus on practicing numerical problems taking mock tests solving pyqs and also the theory definitions and the derivations so that is what our strategy will involve the six steps first of all which are the top priority chapters the most most important guys note it down electric charges and fields 11 marks electric potential capacitance 10 marks current electricity the most important chapter no matter what do not leave this chapter that will fetch you a big chunk of your marks of course electricity uh, also is going to do that moving charges and magnetism 11 marks emi 7 marks ac 7 marks magnetism matter 5 marks so if you want to leave it as an option you can leave it all right ray optics 10 marks which means you cannot leave it high weightage wave optics 7 marks dual nature atoms nuclei 5 to 4 marks which means if you want to leave any one of them as option you can do that provided other chapters are done properly semiconductor 8 marks medium weightage so that gives you a rough weightage of all the chapters which you need to focus on and which you can keep it towards the end now when you understand that okay sir this many marks are there for these chapters out of this which chapter should i prioritize electric charges and fields electric potential and capacitance moving charges magnetism current electricity of course that is the highest weightage ray optics optical instruments 10 marks semiconductor 8 marks if you do these chapters alone that will take you over easily 50 marks easily over 50 marks just by doing these few chapters alone okay so no matter what please do these chapters as soon as possible watch one shots detailed classes underline ncert watch the recordings doesn't matter but do these chapters no matter what also where are you going to read the theory from of course ncert none other than ncert and if you have your state board examination additional books supporting material from the market please use that material which has previous year papers or question of one mark mcq two marks three marks five marks all those questions which you have a collection of please use those books but use renowned authors only please 
focus on formulas laws properties derivations because they have very important weightage meaning explain all the properties of electric charges or explain kvl kcl these are definitions you should know it you should know the diagram derive something you should know the derivation or the formulas why because in the derivation finally formula is important in the definition also you need the formulas and for solving numericals also you will need formula so formulas are a must many places you are going to need it all right and at least go through five year pyqs now you might say sir there is very little time i know you cannot sit and solve the five year papers but at least go through them oh this question this question okay where is it where is it okay it is there here just go through it going through it will not take much time it will take maybe one and a half to two hours and if you are going to five papers totally you will take around maybe 8 to 10 hours so you have to take out that 8 to 10 hours just for those five year pyqs you might not necessarily be able to solve all them right now by writing but at least going through it maybe on rough you can write down the points okay if i have to write about electromagnetic induction or if i have to write about say ad loops what are the points that i have to write or about transformers construction what and all points i should write just briefly write it somewhere so that when you write and scribble in rough that is also good enough you need not have to uh, waste complete time writing it neatly then numerical problems you have to solve daily don't say i'm going to solve it on the last day or i'm going to solve today tomorrow i will do it derivations no every day solve numericals for two to three hours no matter what yes please solve numericals and that includes your mcqs mcqs as well and as you progress day by day from first day to day two to day three please do not uh, suddenly change your plan oh this is not happening that is not happening once you made a plan stick to it believe in that plan don't get carried away somebody saying that paper will get leaked the paper will come from here the paper will come from there don't believe all such rumors such stupid things will happen and they will waste your time they will make you lose your confidence also so be calm do not use any social media in fact delete all the apps also if you want now hot topics this is very important quickly smash the like button for this from every chapter sir which are the must must do subtopics this is something very important current electricity it is ohm's law kirchhoff's law wheatstone 100 percent questions come electromagnetic induction faraday's law lenses law ac and dc generators ray optics mirrors lenses human eye and telescope wave optics interference diffraction ydsc experiment look zener dive photoelectric effect atomic models capacitors and gauss's law these are the favorite topics of the examiners now let's go chapter wise which are the most killer and important topics and what kind of questions come like in current electricity it's basically understanding the ohm's law and the different kind of applications and circuit problems same thing with kirchhoff's law kcl kvl what is it based on and analyzing circuits v stones bridge derivation important and of course the applications biosavart's law deriving the expressions and also finding the magnetic field due to different wires ampere's law which is again explaining that law and also using it force between parallel wires their derivation of course faraday's law the conceptual questions definition bush questions numerical problems lenses law explaining it what is it based on induced emf in rotating loops uh, ac generator related derivations commonly asked lcr circuits to analyze it also resonance is a very important topic in it power which is power factor and also rms values transformers working efficiency calculations losses and the turns ratio all these things are very important deriving lens maker and the numerical problems magnification related and where is the image form type of image also are very important young's double slit experiment their derivations of course the diagram the working the concept of interference maxima minima fringe width very very important photoelectric effect what is einstein's equation the graphs and the numerical problems de broglie wavelength what is it the law the definitions and the numericals bohr's postulates deriving those uh, things and also some basic problems on that diodes and their applications from semiconductors now if you talk about just the derivations part 
then in electrostatics these are the derivations which are must do like the dipole related thing gauss and its applications parallel plate capacitor then current electricity ohm's law then kirchhoff's law ampere's law moving coil galvanometer in emi faraday's and lenz's law self induction mutual induction ac circuit rms and peak values in optics mirror and lens formula then you are ydsc then your uh, diffraction related thing modern physics photoelectric equation bohr's model and your basically de broglie wavelength before just the examination what you should be doing just that evening and that on the night revise everything revise all the formulas with diagrams right which is there graphs everything we will be also doing it on the channel then try to get 6 to 7 hours of sleep do not say sir i did not study that's why i'm sleeping less no plan it in such a way that you will get 6 to 7 hours of sleep or else you will be very worked up and you will not be able to think also take everything sometimes uh, because of lack of sleep or you are studying too much you might forget carrying the water bottle hall ticket your id cards whatever stationery so please keep in mind all these things and yep do not listen to anyone that's why i said delete all the social media apps do not talk to anyone somebody will say something negative you will feel bad and you will lose confidence so do not lose confidence in the examination or even before the examination okay try to write the long answer questions first because they take a lot of time and you are fresh you will have that enthu to write those big big answers and you will secure a decent weightage of the paper initially then try to do the numericals and the derivations because they use formulas and uh, you know calculation part so that part you can do in the middle and then the easy part the one to marker mcqs etc uh, which are to the point try to do towards the end because they will not take much of your time and you can do it very very easily okay always make sure you are writing the answer in points starting the answer writing with a proper opening statement why this is happening these are the following reasons 1 2 3 4 points and hence concluding the statement drawing the diagram blocking the result blocking of formula giving examples drawing proper lines maintaining your answers properly one below the other so if you present also that gives a very good impression on that examiner and please leave the last 10 minutes for rechecking purposes because obviously you might have made some silly mistake so last 10 15 minutes when you check you might find something you might have forgotten something suddenly sometimes people realize i did not solve one question only so all these things can be taken care of in the last 10 to 15 minutes this particular sheet is very important from where what will come this is readily available even on the website the official website of pu has this given so you can download it from there or you can take a screenshot as in which marks how much which chapter mcq will come from which chapter uh filling the blank type of question numerical problems uh, 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 big questions where will it come from all these things are given in this particular table i have explained this even before in the trend analysis and remember your paper is majorly easy to average very small part will be difficult focus on the easy to average part you will get 80% of the paper correct which is good enough which is a really good enough score after that it's completely your skill and how you attempt and analyze and strategize in the last couple of days all right so during these days we'll be conducting marathons lectures problem solving mcqs revision diagrams you tell it we are going to conduct so guys stay tuned on the channel because a lot of sessions have been scheduled for all of you as you can see on the channel in the upcoming uh, uh, part you will see a lot of upcoming sessions are already scheduled okay so stay tuned make sure you mark your attendance in every single session and be there okay thank you so much thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing let's get it guys let's crack 70 out of 70 okay i hope you all are with me in this